Welcome to Wait Forward. Come on in and we'll take a look at DuckTales. One of the most important aspects of a video game is its sound. Um, it can be very easy to overlook you know, the importance of that when you just get the, the visuals and the gameplay in and, and then there's no sound, it, something isn't quite right. Once you get the sound in there, it's, it's, it's very important. And, and one of the things that we do really well is, is you can't just make it sound like Foley from a, from a movie. You need to, there's iconic sounds for jumping and landing and, and hitting an enemy that uh, they, they need a certain punch, and our sound designers just know how to make like a perfect uh, gameplay sound, and it just adds to the game significantly. Without it, the game just feels empty. When we, when we started the game, there, was no, there wasn't a plan to do uh, voice acting, and then uh, a few months in, Disney said, hey, we can get the voice actors, would you guys want to do that? Like, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't say no to that. You know, like, let's, let's get, oh, Alan Young wants to, wants to play Scrooge? Yes, like, we, we will write a bigger script, we will write more, and, and, and just bring, it to, bring him to life. Ah! But you better stick close to me, just in case. Is it Uptail's music? Some of the best 8-bit music, you know, I've ever heard. I love it. Um, I mentioned before how much I like the Transylvania um, level. I love the music, too. That song, for me, DuckTales, the NES game, I remember that song more than I remember a, a lot of specific things about the game. The original DuckTales game had some of the best music, like, ever. And I love the fandom for, for you know, the moon theme, but for me, I love the Amazon theme song. For me, the Amazon song uh, is just so much fun, and it's just so lively, and it just has such a casual kind of kind of appeal to it. So, first time I heard our new Amazon theme, I was blown away. I thought it was absolutely incredible. The work they've done on, on rehashing all these tunes that there's so, there's such a you know almost crazed uh, appreciation for the original. I think they've done a really tasteful job for you know creating a kind of a new sound, making it sound modern, but still have that addictive you know 8-bit classic vibe to it. Uh, so yeah, as far as the new music goes, I mean I'm really excited that Jake is doing them. I've worked with Jake for a long time, like 15 years or so. I mean the first project that I remember working on with him was the, the original Sean Tate um, soundtrack. Yeah, so many people have that nostalgia for, for uh, the DuckTales music, um, even if they weren't as much fans of the cartoon. Uh, which a lot of us obviously were, you know, after school, just watched DuckTales all the time. The music was something that, that sort of lived on its own, and for anybody who's into video game music today, I, I don't know many people who dislike the, the DuckTales music. It's, it's usually a pretty sweet memory for, for people. Uh, another song that just stands out is the Himalayas track, and, and one of the things about it are just these drums that that drive through through the song. There's this drum solo kind of section and one night I was just playing the song really loud and a programmer who just happened to be going by started air drumming like to the beat because it was just you know so powerful and then we all chanted hook oh! with the with the voices in the song because it's just it's such a catchy catchy song. I've heard this stuff in in my head as arrangement since I was like 10. So I knew exactly what to do, what I would do if I got the opportunity, and I just never took it as a fan. And so now I'm taking it as a way forward guy, and uh, and it sort of just all fell together. Every every take I've ever heard is is really special. I, I don't tend to hear bad ones. I think it's just because the composition is so cool. So I think it's really good that he didn't he didn't mess with the composition too much. You know, it's just this is Jake's take on it. Just silly enough, just epic enough, and it is more um, orchestral, and uh, it's just a really good fit. But yeah, this was definitely this is definitely one of the more special projects that I've, that I've had a chance to work on. I try to communicate that in, in the music that it's not just it's not just a another job where I, I have to you know, take a property and work with it. It's saying hello to myself as a ten year old kid. You know, one of these days you're gonna be you're gonna be doing this officially, and it's kind of hard to to believe to even put that in context.